Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. I am so excited. I have a new guest on the show. I'd love for her to introduce herself, her first and last name, and the name of her business. Hi Sheldon and everybody. My name is Adina Silberstein and I am the founder, president, and CEO of Queenie's Pets. Okay, my darling. Okay, so our pets, we are taking care of them as much as we can during this craziness that's happening, right? Which is why we're not shoulder to shoulder and why we're doing it in Zoom, but I'm so pleased to meet you. I wanna hear the nature of your core business and then we'll lead into what you're doing now. Absolutely, sounds great. So uh, Queenie's Pets makes the lives of pets and their humans better by viewing pets as whole beings. So we meet their physical, their social, and their emotional needs. And that's um, primarily it's cats and dogs, but we take care of all domesticated pets in, in households. Uh, we are, so we have a, also a, a retail storefront on Germantown Avenue in Mount Airy in a section of Philadelphia. Yeah. And um, we also are, we provide consultative services. So we help families find the new dog that's right for them. And then once they are about to bring, whether it's a puppy or an adult dog home, we help them get their home ready to be safe for the puppy, safe for their furniture, safe for their children, and really set everyone up for success. And it's really our goal to become kind of members of the family and we help raise happy pets for families. Oh, I love that. And when you have a happy pet, you're a happy owner and the family thrives, right? Within that Absolutely. Family. So knowing that you had a brick and mortar and various functionalities, what I call BQ before quarantine versus <laughs> AQ after quarantine, right? right. BQ life is different than your quarantine life. What types of things are you guys doing now to service your customer base and your future customer base? So we are still providing pet care for essential workers. So clients of ours who are in the medical field, who are who work in grocery stores and so forth. So we are still doing a little bit of that. And primarily what we've done is we've shifted our services so that all of the pet food and supply delivery is now... Um, excuse me, uh, selling is all delivery. So we are doing door front uh, drop offs of wow. products and everything from, you know, of course, food and treats to crates and beds because a lot of people are getting new animals right now, which is right. wonderful for the shelter system. It's yeah. really great. And we're able so that people don't have to you know, find a, a store that's open, one of the big box stores, thankfully they can shop locally, they can support us, and we can literally bring to their door everything they need to welcome home their new pet or to keep their existing pets really happy. So that's really been our shift. Mm -hmm. um, online consultative services now, which is kind of fun. And to me, like holding my phone up and running around my store and showing them everything. And right. um, we've had to really quick, fast, and in a hurry, get our online store to set up. It's, it'll be completed in the next like week and a half. So, um, so we're really excited. Sometimes, sometimes tragedy pushes us to really True. get done what we've in, been intending to do. So that's been, you know, um, really the bulk of what we've been doing since B a a Q, right? right, exactly. it, right? <laughs> Afterwards, I love it. I believe, thank you very much. I mean, it's <laughs> trending. It's trending. <laughs> it's really about adjusting and pivoting. We say that all of the time. I think that what you have done in your core business has really been wonderful. Understanding that there was a void within the market, right? I mean, that's how it all began. You noticed. Yeah that there wasn't what types of services? Well, so so I always joke, and and I was noting that uh, you interviewed the gentleman who started Salad Works, and yes. he, said, he said we were plant-based before it was cool to be plant-based, and I got really mad, and I'm gonna send him an email because he stole my line. Um, and you know, we always say we were dog walkers before it was cool to be a dog walker. So yeah. we opened in 2006, when this was a super cottage industry, yeah. and, you know, I basically, I started on, on a dare. I was doing a job that I, I was really good at, but didn't love. And someone knew that I cared for animals and I was like walking people's dogs on the side. And they said, you know, that's a real job. You can do that. And I was like, you can't make money doing that. And lo and behold, you know, I had 
60 clients within the first three months. What? And, you know, and that's the power of community. And that's one of the, our core values is serving our community. So people, you know, I was fortunate. I opened the business in the community in which I grew up. Yeah. So, you know, people were like my English teacher and my mom's friend and they, you know, go to synagogue with me. So that it was really organic and it was amazing and people are supportive and wonderful and we love the communities we serve so that's been really helpful and um and then you know the other pivot is doing uh, so we have started a charitable organization it's actually kicking off today um <laughs> So it's I'm called, so Queenie's. I know I'm so excited too. It's called Queenie's Kibble Kitchen <laughs> and it is a food pantry for pet food. So for people with food insecurity, we have to assume that they have food insecurity for their pets as well. So what we've started is a, uh, we have a, basically a Venmo account. People can donate money right now. We're asking for monetary donations to reduce having yeah. interactions and, and sure. handling of things back and forth. Eventually we will take donations of supplies as well, but right now monetary donations. And then every time the account reaches $500, we're going to have a giveaway where oh. people can come. No questions asked. We just ask that they only take what they need and they can come and get free pet food for um, primarily dogs and cats to start out with. If people oh need gosh. other things, we'll look at that. So we're really, really excited about that. It's, that is so lovely. And I think that there's, you know, I think, again, I love, there's a beauty in filling voids. There's a beauty in saying, okay, there isn't something here. It might not necessarily be everyone's primary thought process, but you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to fill that void. And yeah. I celebrate that through This Is It TV. I celebrate that through all of the things in which I do. And that, what you just, what launches today, which is so, so wonderful, is a celebration of that. I mean, and I think that it's to say, okay, yes, there is, you know, there are people, there are individuals, there are families that don't have enough food, which means inadvertently that their pets don't have enough food. And we all know that feeding your pet table scraps and those types of things is a deterrent to their own health. So right. really having the right food for yeah. your pets in this ter terrible, terrible, inconsistent time. I mean, I applaud you and your efforts. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We're really, really proud of what we've put together. We're really excited and we're getting sponsorships from different companies that we have relationships with. So um, the Merrick brand is coming in and they're our first partner in this and they're a really high quality food. So yeah. this is we're not just giving away the scraps that you know are left over so yes. we're excited to be able to support people whether they have a temporary need or an ongoing need and it really helps keep pets out of the shelter because if right. people can't feed their pets they're gonna you know yes god forbid turn them into the streets or turn them over to the shelters who are overburdened already so so we're really excited about this and um you know and then once the economy comes back and people are you know there's still always going to be people in need. So it hopefully will be continuing and eventually our hope is to turn it into a, a 503C and, um, you know, have it really be a true nonprofit organization going well, forward. Well, uh, we are here for you and we are here Thank to support you. you. I am so, so lucky to have you on the show today. I am Thank so you. excited to be able to share this today. I know that you're going to get me all of those links and so we can include them within the post. But in the meantime, I want to make sure that you share how people can get in touch with you, whether it be your core business within its pivot or within this new, what will be a new nonprofit. Um, how do people get in touch with you? How do they support you? Sure. So we are Queenie's Pets. You can find us across every social media channel at Queenie's Pets, Q-U-E-E-N-I-E-S. P-E-T-S. And that's on Instagram. That's on Facebook. Um, that's how you can, you can find me on LinkedIn that way. I'm Adina Silverstein with a B, not a V. Okay. And, <laughs> um, and uh, on our website is queeniespets.com. And, you know, if people are interested in Queenie's Kibble Kitchen, they can uh, simply give us a call 215-248-9999. Okay. I'm so excited. This has made my morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I really appreciate the chance to talk about what I'm so passionate about and to help and make lives of pets and their humans better. So thank you. Oh my gosh, of course, of course. This is the first of many times my friend will be joining us here at This Is <laughs> TV. I am so excited to meet new friends and tell wonderful, wonderful, inspiring stories. Thank you so much. From thank all of you. us here at This Is It TV, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor. Oh,
I mean, again, the perfect way to start a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care.